Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to Ed Talk TV, conversations worth having. I'm your host, Ed Troxel, Facebook Live producer, helping small businesses like you show up here online through live broadcasting so that you can get your business seen and be out there. I help you show up, deliver, and engage so then that way you can be more effective with your online marketing efforts. If you need help, please reach out. Let's have a conversation. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the three misconceptions around social media because let's face it there's a lot uh but before we jump in if you're brand new to the show welcome uh we go live once a week uh typically on mondays at 10 a.m pacific standard time right here on facebook as well as on youtube uh today we're going to talk about the three misconceptions i also because i really just like sharing great stories like this which I'm gonna show you in a minute. Um, I wanna show you something that you or somebody you know who's a business owner can start doing given the crazy times we're living in right now, okay? So I know that there's a lot of changes going on and things are up in the air. A lot of places are closing. They are being forced to close. You know, the list goes on. I want us to understand that change equals growth. We need to be able to uh, pivot, adjust, it's just like entrepreneurship, right? Anything we do in our business, uh, there's always things that come up that maybe we weren't expecting or didn't plan for. And so we need to be able to uh, move around those, right? We can't just say, oh, well, well we're going to give up. We have to keep moving forward. So I'm going to show you some of the stories that I've been sharing because they're two um, that are great examples that you can apply with your business and or any business you know. And then we'll jump into the three misconceptions of social media. While I'm doing the screen share here, be sure, even if you're watching the replay, to say hello in the comments because I see you, I wanna say hi to you uh, and connect with you. So let me go ahead and share my screen with you guys because these are great examples. And if you have any that you come across, of course, always feel free to drop them in the comments, tag me on social media, I would love to see. So first off, I'm gonna show you this one right here. This is so cool. I've never heard of this uh, store, um, but this is something that if you or someone you know owns a store, uh, specifically a grocery store, how awesome is this to set up elderly only shopping hour for what's going on right now? You know, hours have to change. We have to adjust our schedules. And this uh, shopping grocery store actually is creating an hour where the elderly can come out and safely shop, given the situation that we're in right now. Super awesome. If you're a grocery store or you know one, please let them know that this is a great thing to do. And I have to shout out um, in the comments here, Jennifer, because she posted as well. Uh, love to see that too. They're exhibiting excellence in customer service, which is a fundamental business practice. Remember, it's all about the customer service. Uh, I also wanna give a quick shout out before we get into the three misconceptions of social media. I wanna give a quick shout out to Criminal Bakery uh, because they're doing an amazing job on posting on social, educating their customers, letting them know what's going on. This is just one of many, but let's look at this real quick because this is something that every single one of you should be doing right now with your business, whether it's brick and mortar or it's just online or both. You need to be using your business page right now to update your audience because they're waiting for you. And if you're brand new to the game, to the business world, awesome. Get yourself a Facebook business page and start posting. Don't post random stuff post things that are going to benefit your audience like this. So real quick, and then we'll jump into today's content. Uh, Criminal uh, Baking uh, has posted this post here where it says, seriously, visit our website. Do you see why website is still so important these days? It's not just having a social media presence that is part of your marketing efforts, but your website is still key especially now more than ever. So they're telling you, go to our website for information about our new hours, 
the go-to orders, placing orders for whole items online, placing breakfast and lunch orders online, tag friends in the comments. This is a fantastic post, educating their audience, letting them know what they need to do because they're still open. They're still ready to serve their customers, but it's gonna look a little different than the average day, than the typical day. So I want you to start thinking about ways that you can do posts like this for your business. Um, and then they showed a couple of images, which is great. So really think about that. I wanted to see if I can show you another post that came up. Uh, there's the other images that they had. And let's see if I can get one more. I think it's right below this, if Facebook will let me. Okay, um, anyway, so that's what I want you to pay attention to is create posts that are going to educate your clients and let them know, your customers, let them know uh, what's going on in your world because they're still there. They're still waiting for you. They need you to tell them what, what to do next, uh, especially if you have a restaurant right now, a uh, travel. All of our businesses are being affected or will be affected in the coming weeks. So we have to, we have to start now if we haven't already. So the three misconceptions for, and don't judge my handwriting, okay? If you're new around here, we don't judge my handwriting because I'm the tech guy. Uh, this is just extra. So three miss well i don't want to write miss we'll just we'll just write the three how about that how about that we'll make it easy the three we see that okay cool so the three misconceptions can you guess what what they are i want to hear your guesses down below even if you're watching the replay now the first one is going to be what it's going to be posting is a waste of time Posting is a waste of time. Okay, so that's the first misconception. Now, if you're thinking this, that means that you are not putting in effort. Okay, so when there's a misconception here, if you think posting is a waste of time, it's because you're not putting in the effort. No effort means no rewards, okay? Number two, I wanna to try to keep this short today because I know you guys have a lot of catching up to do and a lot of planning and all of the things. So um, number two, I'm gonna pull up my notes here for us, is what? Can you guess what number two is? I'm gonna write it. Organic reach is dead. How many of you have heard that or think that? Okay, so organic reach is dead. When you think this or when you see this, it just means no strategy, which means no results. You can still achieve a good, decent, whatever you want to call it, organic reach. You just have to have a strategy around it. You have to be paying attention to what you're doing. Um, and you don't, you can always add to the funds later, meaning you can always put ads towards your posts later, but don't start with ads. Start with the organic part. See what you can do here, fine tune things, and then if you really want to put money towards it later, then update it and add ads to it. But don't start with ads. That's, that's a problem that a lot of people will have is they'll start with ads, they'll start throwing money at it say it doesn't work because they haven't taken the time to actually put in a strategy, a plan, and, and then they're not, nothing's working. So start organically and make sure that you are paying attention. Now understand, yes, the organic reach has gone down over the years. Why? Because there's more people on the platform when it comes to Facebook. There's more people on the platform when it comes to Instagram. Like, of course your organic reach is gonna constantly go down the more people go on it. So you have to understand that part. So it's not dead, it just takes a little bit more effort, a little bit more planning. You have to have a strategy. Now the third one, let's make sure I can. you can see that there. We'll bring this up a little bit, oh, up back a little bit for you guys. So the third one is gonna be, I don't have time. So 
So that's the third one, right? I don't have time. How many of you have felt that way or, or say that all the time? I don't have time, Ed. I, I get it. Social media is great. I know I need to be doing all of these things, but I just don't have time. Listen, you have time. You just haven't done your part in terms of time management. You have to prioritize things. And part of that prioritizing is going to include your marketing efforts. Part of that marketing effort should be social media, whether it's planning or uh, posting or, uh, sorry, or commenting. It's like playing it out of my head and then had to make sure it was coming out. Uh, you wanna make sure that it's not just, okay, I posted. That, that's, that's not, that's like the bare minimum these days. There's so much more to that than, than posting. So understand that when you say I don't have time, it just means that you haven't set up a plan. You haven't looked at your time and managed it properly because it can be a lot of time well spent if you do it right. And it can take just a few seconds, a few minutes each day to update your people, to post, to engage, all of the things that you need to be doing on social media. But again, you have to have a plan and you have to prioritize things, especially right now. There's a lot going on. Uh, we're at, number one, we're at the beginning of a new year still. We're jumping into all of the craziness with what's going on in the world. And we just, we need to be able to get control of what we can control. There's other things out there that we can't control. What we can control is how we spend our time. We can look at how our day is broken down, what we want to prioritize, all of the things. And it doesn't have to be that hard. It can be a very simple process. This is something that I work on with my clients. Uh, one of the first things we work on is time management. And we go through and we work on figuring out when we can make time to show up consistently here online to the, make our marketing efforts effective so that it's not a pain. It's not a waste of time. It's um, helping, or our, helping our organic reach. And we can no longer, we don't have to say, I don't have time. We can say, oh yeah, I have time for that. Let, let me just pause real quick and let me just update. Let me just do this real quick. Like that's the beauty of having a plan. So if you or someone you know is struggling with your social media marketing efforts, please reach out. There's a link in the comments for you uh, in the description here. Reach out, let's schedule a free call. Let's talk about ways I can help you with that because all of this can be solved real quickly and that can make this whole thing, uh, sorry, the light's coming in from the clouds. Um, sun's breaking through the clouds. Uh, all of this can be easily taken care of for you and set you up for success. So then that way you can just keep moving forward uh, without having it be a pain or a waste of time. Like let's, let's get this going because now is your time to shine. Your audience is waiting for you. You need to be able to get out there and showcase who you are, what you do, why you do it, and how you can help others. Because right now, everyone is going to be at home doing this all day long. So really make sure that you utilize this time and, and get things in order. And again, it comes back to starting with time management, which is why I work with my clients on that and start there. So if you need help, please reach out. And until uh, if something else comes up, I'll jump on. Otherwise, I will see you guys uh, next week. All right, take care. If you are ready to take your marketing efforts to the next level, be sure to reach out and let me know. Let's get you on a free call so we can talk about how I can help you show up, deliver, and engage here online. Mm -hmm.